Hey guys, I'm Avro. Welcome back to my channel. If you're following my channel by now, you know that I am endorsing AI agents to the next big thing for this year. Such an exciting times we are living in, and especially after seeing the demo of Devin AI. It's super, it's super cool uh, to have a AI software engineer autonomously creating or generating code, debugging it. It's amazing. And then we saw open source, which is open Devin AI or Devika. I tried it out. It's doing pretty reasonable job. And I'm very impressed by that as well. Also, if we now come to the space where we have app building and we narrow down this space from software engineer to app building space, I have always been talking about data button, which we are building. Data button is your AI app builder. You prompt it and data button agents will plan, execute, debug and generate the code for you. And that's what I'm making videos for the last almost three, four weeks. And that is something I am really rooting for as well. Any autonomous AI agents will be the next big thing. And we really believe in it in data button. So in today's video, I'll just give a quick overview on building a backend and a frontend. It's a very simple idea. So from scratch to app, it's super simple to build. So let's say you want to get a lot of relevant scientific search or so scientific articles from a database called PubMed. You just need to make a quick search, right? And you can use Python APIs or the endpoints for that. For example, we have something called as BioPython package, which can literally make call to this PubMed database. By the way, PubMed database is very famous among researchers or scientists who are in the field of uh, biomedicine or biology. So basically, you just need to create a backend which will search with the relevant uh, keywords and you will get a lot of information from there. And then you take back this information, dump it back to your UI. Implement this very simple sketch to data button, try if it could build this backend and the frontend for me. And I could literally build it in just a few minutes. Let me show you how I did it all just by prompting. By the way, I just showed until how to get all the context. You can now really channel this whole context to a large language model like OpenAI and just make a chatbot on the top of it. For that, follow my other videos as well where I showed how to create a chatbot in data button. Again, just by prompting. Let's do that. So the first thing which I would do is build the UI for us. So I just need a text input box and a number of searches, number of hits, which we need to search the PubMed database and also a submit button, which will just trigger the... So let's, let's write the prompt in. It's very simple. I just wrote my prompt and data button will make sure to come up with the front end. So as you can see, data button right away made sure that there is a keyword search input box and a number input box out here and the search button. The next part would be to make sure that when we press the search, it has a callback function. And when you talk about the callback function, it's very important that we create a backend for us. Something which is very useful in data button is you have always access to the code. If you have idea of the React code, just go there, change it accordingly. So the next part is we create a backend for it. We call a backend in data button as capability. So I'll submit a search. That would be the name of my capability. This particular uh, prompt here, data button agents are pretty smart to understand what I need. So first it's making a plan, install the biopathon package, uh, define the input parameters for search keyword and design number of result, implement the search function using biopathon's API and format and return the search result. Be able to search the articles related to COVID-19. So it literally could search through all the articles. And if you see, it also wrote the code for us and it made like around maximum result that would be searches. And also it used a keyword as COVID-19 and max result as 15. That's super cool because that's the two input which we need, the max results and the keyword. Now it's time to integrate this backend, which we created PubMed search to our frontend. So we already have this frontend, right? So all we need to do is we do integrate, integrate the capability that is your backend. And we just click the hashtag, which means it gives access to all the capabilities of the UI components or all the app pages, which you have. And I see the PubMed search already pops up. That's a prompt we need in order to integrate the backend with the front end. Let's see how the agent works. So now the agent shows that there is a particular error out here. I'll just ask, fix the error. And as I mentioned before, data button agents could fix its own error. It debugs it and it makes sure that everything is working at a proper sync. And now it's trying to update the app after reading this particular error out here. You see, it has access to the logs. If you are aware of any errors, if you can 
fix it yourself. Just go ahead. Otherwise, agents can do it itself as well. So meanwhile, when the agents try to fix the bug, I'll just quickly show you one thing. If you're not sure if the agent has already integrated the backend for you or not, you must notice that if there is something called as brain, under the hood, data button uses a module called brain. So brain.pubmed search is something which we are looking for. Once we have brain.pubmed search, that means the agents have integrated that particular backend or the API router as integrated to the front end. Now let's see, if I reload this page, if it works or not, it tried to fix it quickly. And I just search with a keyword, let's say uh, chlorophyll D. And I just give, let's say, uh, eight of these searches. I hide the code and I kick the search button and it's making a API router call post PubMed search. Basically, it's running the code under the hood. And as you see, all the output just came quickly. Now I'll just make with two searches, okay? I hope this will be faster. And, and there it is. It's just so easy. Rather few things, I think we need to make a few tweaks in the front end that would look uh, that would look way more better. The spinner as well, which seems like working. So this is also working as well. Now the next part is passing this entire context to our uh, large language model. And for that, we need to create both a front end and also a back end. Uh, for that, let's create the back end first and then we come back to the front end 